YouTube, what to do, baby? We are back with another video and another video that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. If you're new to the page, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're back for another another one, I appreciate you as always. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be bringing you a lot more videos like this, a lot of how to, a lot of tips and tricks, um, jump spots, how to get high kills, um, best class setups, top five class setups, got some G's to run right now, individual best class setups. So I'm going to be switching the content up a lot because my gameplays have been so hard to get because my lobbies have been like an average of like a 1.3 KD to like I all the way up to a two. Yeah, the average is right there in the middle around a 1.5, 1.6, which is unbelievable um, in Rebirth Island. And that's what I play the most and almost every night. But it's been a struggle dropping like 120 bomb a night compared to five to 10 on good nights. So yeah, man, that's where I'm at right now. I don't know if I'm shadow banned or whatnot. I know a lot of people are, but I don't think I am. But anyway, man, Best ARs right here in Warzone. And I have a lot of honorable mentions and you guys will probably get mad at me for a few, but this is what I feel comfortable with. I got the class up for you right now. So let's hop into it, man. So these uh, cold or Vanguard ones, you guys know it takes forever because these attachments. So no particular order. We're going with the first one. You guys can take it for how you want, but no order right here. These are just the top five. Take it however you want to take it. Okay, for the first one, we are running the Vanguard. The, is it the Cooper 45? So we're running the Cooper. The Cooper AR. So we got the muzzle, the MX silencer for the muzzle with the sound suppression and accuracy. The Cooper custom uh, for the barrel. Okay, this is, it makes it literally have no recoil and faster fire rate, which is pretty good for this weapon. And we have the slate reflector for the optic. The Cooper custom padded stock, uh, which is accuracy and recoil. Tight grip for the perk, which is accuracy and recoil as well. Fully loaded for perk 2. For the rear grip, we have polymer grip, which is accuracy and recoil as well, as long as you are firing. And then we have the 60 round mag, and then we have lengthened for the ammunition. I feel like that's crucial for this weapon because it does take a little bit of time to hit your shots with it or for your bullets to connect. And then we have the underbarrel, we have the M1941 handstop, which is accuracy and recoil. Guys, this like almost has negative recoil. Like it almost goes down. Like when you shoot it, it's like the M13, like no recoil at all. It feels amazing. I love this weapon. So that is the first one I'm going to give you guys. Let's jump into the next one. So for this next one, I still got to go with the AK-47 here from Cold War. Yeah, this thing is a monster. It's always been very, very good. And they haven't really nerfed it at all. So running the Groove Suppressor for the muzzle. The Spatnaz RPK barrel for the, uh, for the barrel. For the uh, optic, we're on the Axial Arms three times. I think that's obviously the best optic for all the Cold War weapons, uh, especially from long range. Uh, then for the magazine, we're on the 45 round mag. You could go 60, but 45 gets the job done for me. And then we're running the Spent Naz Grip, which is a horizontal and vertical recoil control. So this thing is a beamer, guys. I swear it's like a four or five shot kill. Um, if you hit headshots, maybe three shots, but it it's unreal. Give it a go. I think you guys know this AK hits. And you can run it as an SMG as well. A lot of these weapons I'm showing you in these AR categories can be converted to SMGs. That's what makes these weapons so uh, fun to use. So we're in the AK as well. And the next one right here, a lot of people have gone away from this, but it still slaps. Trust me. The recoil has gotten a lot different. But once you figure it out and use this for quite some time, you are gonna, you're you're just going to feel like it's never it was nerfed before. So give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. So for the EM2, one of my all-time favorite weapons here in Warzone. We're running the agency suppressor for the muzzle, the 25.8 task force barrel, axial arms three times for the optic, 40 round mag, and then the field agent grip. I know some people go with the 50 round mag, but I just like the better mobility. So I go with the field, the 40 round mag, and then I run the field agent grip for horizontal and vertical recoil control. So let me know what you guys think about that EM2. That's really like the same build that everybody's always ran, uh, but it still slaps guys. It, it's, it hits harder than the AK, just not as accurate. So. Once you figure it out, you'll be good to go. Then the next one, do not sleep on it. Okay. I know there's some Vanguard weapons uh, that hit harder than this Kilo and maybe some more Cold War weapons, but I don't know. I'm in love with this thing. I, I swear they did a silent buff to it. Give it a go. Try it out yourself. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. So for the muzzle, for this uh, Kilo build, it's the same as always. We got the mono suppressor. The Singard Arms 19.8 Prowler. We got the VLK, obviously. The VLK 3.0 Optic. We have the 60 round mag. And, the, and we have the Commando Foregrip. As you guys can see in the bottom left, very accurate, very good range. Um, control, obviously, you guys know the Kilo doesn't have much recoil at all. But this weapon, God's here. I'm telling you, I just used it the other day. Dropped like 25 my first game with it. 
So uh, give it a go. I don't know, man. It's it's very good. So this last one. Yeah, I know you like there's a lot of honorable mentions. We'll talk about it too a little bit right after this. But we'll give you this class set. We'll talk about a few that uh that I didn't put on the list. Okay, we're running the muzzle. Oh, this is the M13 for Modern Warfare. Okay. So running the monolithic suppressor for the muzzle, the tip hiss marksman for the barrel, the corp combat hollow sight, the 60 round mag, and the commando foregrip. Okay, this could you could run the VLK, but a lot of you know that the court ho combat hollow sight is very good with this weapon. This thing doesn't have much recoil at all, so that's why I absolutely love it. And I feel like it does hit harder. It's like the Cooper, in my opinion. Um, they kind of shoot the same fire rate, and their damage is pretty much the same as well, and they both have no recoil. So I threw this on there. I wanted to mix in some Cold War, Modern Warfare, and Vanguard weapons. Um, in the future, when they start updating these Vanguard weapons, I think that those will all take over um, because that's the that's the plan, right? They want you to buy the new bundles. They want you to buy the new game. They want you to have these weapons that are new in the shop, so you buy them, so they make more money. I mean, it's just it's simple, right? Um, so that's what they're gonna do. But right now, top five ARs, in my opinion, right here, you could run, you know, the C58s up there, um, the Autom Auto Matten, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, that is up there as well from Vanguard. Um, there's lots of different weapons that can be up there. I just think these are the top five that I would go to personally um, and rock these, man. Um, like I said, they're very, very good. Let me know what you guys' favorite is. But like I said, class setups, all that type of stuff, videos like this will be coming in the near future and a lot of tips and tricks, how to improve, how to have better aim, how to have better movement, all that good stuff. Uh, best settings. So if you guys enjoy that and are interested in that, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Drop a like for me. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Drop a class up that you're going to use in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to see it, but hope you guys enjoy it. Smash the like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.